everyone. Welcome to the Phone Museum. Uh, recently, there's a WWDC 2020. Uh, iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 uh, came out. There's a lot of features uh, packed in this new iOS 14. Uh, some of the future you can experience in Android side. So I will tell you the new iOS 14 feature in Android. Um, in first, they try to show new home screen. Now you can add widget on your main home screen, not a widget page. For Android, Android can add widget in home screen since Android 1.0. So for Android side is way used to it. And the it looks and uh, feels like to me, it's more like Windows Phone instead of Android because in my device, it's set up to the three roles but if you change the two roles, then the icons, the small icons, you can fit in four and the widget is take like iOS 14 so in iOS 14, you can you cannot put a widget, for example, you cannot put widget like between like this, but Windows you can. So Windows size have more. I will keep it this way. <laughs> Windows size has more um, customization for a widget. Like I say, it's pretty similar because. Is one by one is the icon. You can make a widget, and this side. So, like a iOS 14, and new iOS 14. So you can swipe all the way right. Then you can see the all your apps and the Siri. Just make a a folder for similar apps. But when you pull down, it looks like exactly like this. Not exactly, but it's similar alphabetical order to you can sort out find some apps. So, if you want to experience iOS 14, here you are. And the next, I think most iOS user will like this feature, which is PIP picture in picture. Um, iPad ha had this feature since iOS 9, I think, but it's on iPhone now, so yay! However, Android had it since a long time ago. Like this is Samsung Galaxy S2. It came out 2011. In this one, you can watch video, and you wanna go to calculator or something like, something like that. Then you can change size, or you go to calculator. Ta-da! Yeah. So, nothing new in here. So, only Samsung has this feature? No. This is a Pentec, a big pop-up note. This one also have this kind of feature as well. Resize. Go back, front, pause. And also, LG has those features as well. In LG, they have more future, which is you can make, you can change the transparency so you can see the background and watching video as well, those kind of stuff. So I guess in iOS 15 or 16, they have a multi-window. Even even the widget from the um, left page, this one is, I think, since I, iOS 9, I think. Th that one is similar to the uh, Samsung's own operating system, BADA 2.0, which is you can swipe. There's all the another widget page. So, 
Yep, all the wizard thing going on. So the phone can detect um certain sound and let you know. And those features already in here. So you would there's a sound then you can select baby crying detector or doorbell detector. So either you record your doorbell or those kinds of stuff, then when that sound, the phone heard that sound, then give you a notification. So let you know there's a something going on outside of your house or babies crying, those kinds of stuff. A new Siri has been improved as well. On the bottom, there's a Siri icon and those kind of stuff, which is similar to Google Assistant and similar to the Bixby as well, like so. And also, when you go to camera, when you take a selfie, now, like other Android phone, you can uh, save selfie as a uh, flip, left or right flip, or just original copy. So now your iOS selfie user, now you're gonna happy about it. That's for the iOS 14. And what about the iP iPad OS 14? So they show new way to using app Apple Pencil. This is Samsung Galaxy Note 1, the first one. Mm, like so, it changed for me. And you can also draw inside of the thing, circle, the arrow, extra. And another new feature they talk about it, this is Galaxy Note 3, handwriting. So on the setting, the keyboard setting, you can change to the pen detection. Then, if we, the phone detects the pen, then it changes automatically to the handwriting. So, let's write something. Hello. It works. And any other place you have to type, then it shows this icon, and you can go to the www.google.com. Then here you are. Also, they they talk about the. It can change to the um, phone number and those kind of stuff. It's similar to this, right? Zero, 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 one, 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 one. And you can make a call. You can save in the contact, or you can send message and the extra. Also, like you writing, hello, and you wanna change the text text and you can copy and paste in let's go to browser you can paste tada so all the iPad future you can use in the phone so oh I forgot one thing the new Um, new feature in iOS and iPad OS 14 is when you use different app it used to be it cover all the when there's phone call it's cover all the uh, screen but now you can do this one there's a little pop-up so you can get answer it without any disruption in outside of the phone call Finally, it's here. So that's it for iOS 14 tour in Android side. And in later future of the iOS 14 release, 
then I will compare between iOS 13 and iOS 14 with iPhones. Thank you for watching and if you like um, click the like button and if you have any question you can uh, comment. Thank you for watching.